Well, it sounds crazy, but climate change could actually benefit our state. You heard me right. Scientists predict that we are going to see wild fluctuations in the weather over the next 50 years. That gradual warming brings challenges for sure, but could mean great things for Washington wine. Could our state become the next Napa? Well, it's not as crazy as it sounds. Eventually, you know, it's going to be unmistakable what's happening. Climate change is happening, and we're already feeling it, according to state climatologist Nick Bond. But just wait. Within the next few years and decades, he says weather fluctuations will get even more severe. We're to the point where even the cool summers in the future are like normal ones, and the warm ones in the future are like something we never have. There are obvious downsides. Droughts and wildfires in the summer, snow, ice, floods in the winter. But there could be some benefits to climate change, believe it or not. Our state's burgeoning wine industry, for example, where eastern Washington's desert climate offers perfect conditions for wine grapes. But further south, in California's Napa Valley, rising temperatures are already causing problems. It's staying warm and hot well into October, and the sugar content of the grapes is increasing too fast and they're having to do interesting things, you know, add water to the grape juice. I think the, uh, the regions where the really premium grapes um, uh, can grow are gonna move north. And so the Napa Valley, that's probably not the place to buy, you know, some acreage these days with what's coming. Changing temperatures mean increased dangers for vineyards in the form of invasive bugs or frost on grapevines, wildfires, and a lack of water for irrigation. It's a cautionary tale for grape growers, particularly in the southern part of the state. It's something like 20 to 50 percent of the um, presently where the premium grapes are grown will, will no longer be viable by the, um, uh, um, by the middle of this century. So Washington wine country could be heading north. Professor Kevin Pogue says Okanagan County, just across the border from British Columbia's wine country, is poised to become a prime wine growing region, much like Oregon's Willamette Valley. You might see Pinot Noir moving up. It's going to become much more viable in the great, and it's going to be riper. So I think in the short term, we're going to be better off. Now, the Washington beer industry also adjusting to the effects of climate change. 80% of the nation's hops are grown in the Yakima Valley. Water, insects and mold are growing threats to those crops as temperatures continue to rise.